Exciting moment for us here on Channel Television and many across the world. And uh, well, we have His Excellency Paul Arkwright, the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, joining us from Abuja Studios. Good morning, uh, Your Excellency, and thanks for joining us. Uh, very quickly, we're starting off looking at uh, one nation that uh, before now pulled out of the Commonwealth, and I'm quite sure that should also worry the uh, United Kingdom. Tell us uh, your thinking of what is playing out in the Gambia at the moment. Well, thank you very much for inviting me uh, onto the program. Uh, yes, it's a serious situation in, in the Gambia. Uh, as you know, you've just been reporting, uh, President Barrow has now been inaugurated. Uh, the United Kingdom has recognized him. My foreign minister has made a statement welcoming that inauguration. Uh, and of course, in line with the Constitution, uh, and with respect for the uh, views of the people, the votes of the electorate in the Gambia, uh, former President Jame should, uh, should now stand down. And certainly to avoid any violence, to avoid any bloodshed, uh, we hope that these negotiations which are currently going on uh, in Banjul will result in a, in a peaceful outcome. Uh, that's the best thing for the, for the Gambian people. It's important for the new president uh, to take up his office uh, and to start to implement his program because that's what he was voted in to do by the Gambian people. Uh, and the UK is strongly supporting the new president uh, and appeals to the former president to stand down and uh, ensure that a peaceful transition can take place. It has come to the UK as a surprise, knowing for a while that there had been some uh, president before now uh, talking about how uh, he changed uh, the country to the Islamic Republic, to an Islamic Republic, and pretty much later uh, moving out of uh, the Commonwealth of Nations. Well, he did move out. You're right. Uh, a couple of years ago, he withdrew the Gambia from the Commonwealth. Um, we regretted that. The Commonwealth is a family of nations, and in a way, he left the family. Um, but I'm very pleased that the new president, President uh, Barrow, uh, has said in the campaign that he would be looking to reinstate the Gambia in the Commonwealth. And of course, we would be very pleased to see the Gambia return to the Commonwealth. So I certainly look at, uh, at that uh, particular pledge as something that we hope that the new president will be able to implement very soon. Uh, were we surprised that they pulled out? Um, not particularly. The former president has been, uh, shall we say, unpredictable, uh, and he's made pronouncements like this before. Um, the fact that we now have a, we hope, a more stable uh, government in place with a president who uh, has a much more responsible international view than his predecessor, we hope will bring, uh, bring the Gambia back into the family of the Commonwealth. You know, the world can't afford another crisis. Uh, we're still uh, battling with what is happening in Syria and a couple of other places, and even the insurgency, looking at the refugee, the amount is growing by the numbers daily in Nigeria's northeast region. So many are saying, well, the Gambia shouldn't be another place for us uh, to put into another mess. ECOWAS troops are already getting ready to ask uh, President Jami to vacate and relinquish power formally. If all of this doesn't happen, would you also be supporting, uh, will the UK be putting its uh, weight behind an ECOWAS force to uh, move him out of the Gambia? Well, you're right. You've mentioned ECOWAS. It's a very important uh, role that ECOWAS have played in this crisis. And uh, I'd like to pay credit to uh, the president uh, of ECOWAS, the chairman in office, President Johnson Sirleaf, and of course, President Bahari of Nigeria, who has been the lead mediator uh, in this process since the ECOWAS summit here in Abuja in, uh, in December last month. So, uh, yes, ECOWAS has played a very important role. Obviously, we want to avoid any kind of military intervention. Um, but I should note that uh, just last night, the Security Council in New York uh, agreed a resolution supporting the new president and calling for uh, the former president to stand down, uh, and indeed uh, saying that um, it, all political measures should be exhausted first, but uh, recognizing that a military intervention may in the end be necessary. Um, if that military inter intervention is necessary, it will have the full support of the United Kingdom. We voted in favor of that resolution uh, in the United Nations. We join all countries in hoping that a peaceful solution will be the actual outcome of this crisis. 
Um, but if President, uh, former President Jammeh does not stand down uh, and does not go peacefully, uh, then he knows what the consequences will be. And as you rightly say, there is a, an ECOWAS force which is uh, currently uh, just inside the Gambia, as I understand it. There are Nigerian elements, Air Force, there's a Nigerian ship offshore, uh, and some Nigerian troops as well involved in this. So it is a, a regional effort, uh, and one which the United Kingdom very strongly supports. Excellency Alcright, if I may ask you to weigh in on this other issue as regards the Gambia. Now, the, se the sequence of e things that happened before the inauguration of Mr. Barrow as the new president, I mean, several ministers resigned, the vice president resigned on the Jame, and then, but Jame had his own concerns, which some say are genuine, about the election results, one result given first, and then a couple of days later, a new result is given. Does he, did he have any basis for his complaint? And do you think that was also considered in all of the conversations that have been going on? Well, I heard about the complaints. I, you, what you did not mention was that he uh, accepted the election results in the very first place. So uh, it's rather strange that a few days later he should decide that he didn't like it. Um, listen, we, we had observers on the ground there. We have an embassy there. Uh, there was a, a Commonwealth Observer mission. And all the international uh, electoral observers said that this was essentially a free and fair and credible election. Um, of course, in any election anywhere, uh, there are going to be some anomalies, but we did not think that any uh, small problems that there might have been had an impact on the result. So we were totally uh, satisfied that this was a genuine election um, and an election which President Barrow won fairly and squarely. Uh, and that's why we've called all along for the former President Jammeh uh, to accept the election result uh, and to stand down for the good of his people and in line with uh, his own constitution. Um, so, yes, I know that uh, former President Jammeh uh, did actually challenge those election results, but uh, we are convinced that they were credible, uh, and indeed we are supporting the, uh, the duly elected new president, President Barrow.